Hi, I'm Dr. Dennis Kim, Editor-in-Chief of Seconds Count. I want to talk to you today about newborn pulse oximetry screening. What is this? It's a simple way to try to detect critical congenital heart disease shortly after a baby is born. Congenital heart disease is the most common birth defect affecting almost one in every 100 babies that are born. About 40,000 babies per year are born with congenital heart disease. When we talk about critical congenital heart disease, we're talking about those cardiac diagnoses that require surgical or catheter-based intervention within the first year of life. And over 7,000 kids are born every year with this diagnosis. It's important because about 3% of all infant deaths in the first year of life are due to critical congenital heart disease. What comprises these diagnoses? It's a group of seven different diagnoses, including hypoplastic left heart syndrome, pulmonary atresia with intact ventricular septum, tetralogy of Fallot, total anomalous pulmonary venous connections, uh, tricuspid atresia, and truncus arteriosus. In September 2011, Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius approved adding pulse oximetry screening to the recommended uniform screening panel. As you may know, lots of different kinds of screening happens shortly after childbirth. It occurs even before. Uh, moms get screening with ultrasound very commonly as their babies are growing, and part of this includes looking at the heart. All states have metabolic screening for rare disorders as well as hearing testing. Newborn pulse oximetry screening has been approved by the American Heart Association as well as the American Academy of Pediatrics. Currently, about half of the states in the United States have mandated routine newborn pulse oximetry screening uh, in the newborn period, and more states are getting on board. Uh, why is this important? Because if these diagnoses are missed, that can have very significant consequences for the baby. The way that it is performed is by a simple test that uses a small probe that's placed onto the skin of the baby that detects the amount of oxygen in the blood. If the amount of oxygen is more than 95%, all's good. If it's less than that, then this is verified by a couple more tests that are done. This test takes maybe a few minutes to do total and is very easy and painless. If there is continuing concern about the possibility of having critical congenital heart disease, referral to a pediatric cardiologist can be made at that time. For more information about newborn pulse oximetry screening as well as a lot of other topics related to your cardiovascular health, please visit us at secondscount.org. Thank you.